this is how Starbucks gets to you, man. They send you these emails about like purchase more than one. And I only need 72 stars to remain a gold star member this year. Um, no, for next year. So I'm like, mm, okay, fine. And I activated the off offer. Can I get a venti ice cream tea? A venti, excuse me? Ice cream tea? Sweden, please. Uh, Sweden. Anything else? Uh, no, that'd be all. Thank you. Take away the big shirts, the tattoos, the sweatpants, and veins. Okay, I don't wear no makeup, no purse in my hand. But what if I told you there's nothing I want more in this world? So I just got out of Walmart. Um, I picked up what I'm gonna make for dinner on Thursday, and I got travel size shampoos. Um, what else did I get? A sports bra. I feel like sports routes are gonna be way more comfortable in the Philippines. Um, what else? And then this weekend, I'll probably go to Marshalls again and try to find like um, workout shorts that are not too short, but that um, I can wear. So where am I? So yeah, I went to Walmart. That's just my backpack from um, work that I wear, you know. And yeah, and now I'm just gonna go home and do homework. I mean, these are always chill, chill, huh? Wow, it's getting so real. So real, the Philippines. When you don't know what to eat, just ask your friends. <laughs> and they know me so well. So Chick-fil-A for dinner. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. I got him a new, like, mat that's um, better to absorb water because when he drinks his water, it goes everywhere. Oh, baby. So this is what I'm reading right now. It's basically like how to, I know the title seems misleading, but it's basically like how to not think that we're better than men or that men should be better than women, but how we're created to be like equal, you know, like a team. So, Can I get a grande ice latte? Grande ice latte, anything else you said? Cinnamon powder and two splendas. I'm sorry, cinnamon powder and what else? Two splendas. Two splendas, okay. No. And that'll be all. Okay. Okay, Zo Church giving me Drake vibes. I am mad at you. Mm -mm. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Pink drink. They're doing errands with me. What did you try, Johnny? I don't know. Oh yeah, he tried the dragon fruit thing. You're like the worst person to recommend. Fruit, they didn't have the fruit, but they had so the flavoring. So no, they had the flavoring, thing. just yeah, not the fruit. There's a bunch of fruit in here that's They put flavor. berries. It's the same thing, it's kinda. Not a berry. Oh my god. So now we're looking for cheese because we're doing a barbecue tomorrow. Okay. Slices that are cut. Because we're not gonna cut them. Those. Ooh, yeah, we'll do those on a budget, okay? Youth Ministries on a budget. Thanks, bro. You're such a gentleman. Look at him. Mm -mm. Barbecue tomorrow. Can't wait. This is how Johnny treats us. Mountain Dew. Never had diet Mountain Dew, so it's like. Baja Blast. Como? Huh? Como? How? What? I forgot you don't know Spanish. How? Baja Blast. <laughs> Como means like how? Like what you mean? <laughs> wow! I have another diet soda! Alright. Alright, okay. Alright, alright, you gonna learn today. <laughs> I said that in service and it just, just looked at me. What are you guys eating? Oh, what do you want, Justin? You can throw this. Sure. There's an eight there. Or
I'll probably just get fries. So I know I talked about this in my Snapchat, and if you don't follow me on Snapchat, I'll put my username around here. Long story short, I was with a friend last week, and she told me she met her first immigrant family, which was like a culture shock for me because in LA, I met plenty of people whose parents were also immigrants. Um, and that led to me sharing my parents' story, and she was like crying, like legit crying. And I realized I never see my parents' story as sad because I am just now proud of not only being Guatemalan, but like proud of them working hard and just being grateful for what they did. My mom now is a US citizen, my dad is a resident, working towards his US citizenship. And I don't know, it just made me realize like, when you're a child, like you don't realize certain things that your parents have done for you. And then when you become an adult, you realize it. Um, so last night I was telling my mom about it and I just randomly told her like, I'm so grateful for what you and my dad did. Like that's hard you know that was that was hard to do um so yeah like i just think sometimes as an adult you just realize certain things and i have been in the stage of my life where i have been just telling my parents thank you or that i'm grateful and you know it might be cheesy to them and they might think like okay like whatever you know but i feel like i have to do it like my dad i called my dad when we went to dallas and i was like kind of crying and he didn't know um they did a message about like kids who are in abusive homes and if they wanted prayer because you know if they're minors so they can't leave those situations and there were actual kids who went up for prayer and that just broke my heart um i know sometimes like we think that our parents are unfair and my parents were not perfect at all you know but they had jesus in them and god was working in them so i called my dad and i was like thank you for letting me live in a home where i didn't have to experience that you know and my dad is like really weird, but I just had to let him know, you know? So don't be ashamed to call your parents and tell them thank you. Even if it's been like years later. You guys wanna meet the more extra person than me? This is Ariel. I am. No, I'm not. Definitely not. Joss wins. I'm She's just the hood. Queen. I'm just the ghetto She's version. Queen! I'm the ghetto version. We're gonna have lunch for the first time. Yes, we are. I don't know if Desert Oak is ready for this much loudness. Probably not. They're telling us to shut up at church. <laughs> Her husband. That's one place I thought I could be myself. Her husband She's specifically, kidding. that's funny. No. Say hi, Gina. Hi. This is like my slash friend mentor. <laughs> Sure. I have to document this, okay? He is going to miss me. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding. No, I'm not. Take a picture. We're the five J's. The salted caramel in Whataburger is actually good. Mm. Actually, Hello. Whataburger. Y'all need hand sanitizer? In and out. <laughs> Sorry, in and out. All in. All in. What? So right now in and out. What about it? It's better. Jesse. Dude, when people Jesse. voted on my Instagram, they Jess. all voted. Just happy. That's my finger. <laughs> And Jonah! Uh, <laughs> the five J's! Woo! Ah! <laughs>